Well, the billion dollar pest, that's the name U.S. growers have given the corn rootworm, and it fits. However, growers can be well equipped to stop the problem before it causes costly damage, and the best place to start is with the seed. Thrive TV's Adam Basque spoke with Syngenta experts on how to stop these pests before they eat into your profit. Kyle Van Bogart comes from a long line of farmers. In the operation, it is myself and my father, Steve, and then my uncle, Ken, and my cousin, Brett, and we farm about 2,400 acres in Belmont, Wisconsin. Bogart raises two crops, corn and soybeans. And in an area where corn is king, Bogart fell into a common pattern. But in 2012, he recognized a costly hidden mistake. We were planting corn on corn without an insecticide year after year. Some of the fields were five, five to seven years corn on corn. That year really showed that we had a rootworm problem that fall. We lost a lot of bushels out in the field. And then after that, we started planting a corn that had the corn rootworm trait in it, applying a dry insecticide when we planted, and then we also would go and fly on insecticide when we would apply our uh, fungicide. Corn rootworm can wreak havoc on your crops, and a multi-season approach is the best way to establish control. Syngenta has a broad portfolio of insecticides for corn rootworm at various stages. Uh, the technologies range from seed traits with Viptera and Duracade to soil-applied insecticides with our force brands. The Syngenta products that we use to control corn rootworm is the Force Insecticide 6.5G, and it has done a wonderful job for us. Um, we go and put that on all our corn on corn, and it's nice that now with the 6.5G, we're only putting on 2.5 uh, pounds the acre, so it makes it so when we fill up the planter, we can plant for almost a full day without having to put insecticide back in. We also go and use Warrior, which is a Syngenta product, and fly that on when we uh, fly on our fungicide to go and kill the corn rootworm beetles that are out there. Scouting for corn rootworm larvae and corn rootworm beetles is very key throughout the year. As you think about the corn rootworm larvae, if you're in the fields in mid-June, I would say the V7 to V10 stage of the corn growth, and you're digging roots, you can put those roots in a pail of water, float those corn rootworm larvae to the surface, and just see what kind of uh, feeding you have on those roots. If you're looking for corn rootworm beetles, generally the R1 to R3 stage right after pollination is a very good time to scout for corn rootworm beetles. You should rotate the technologies you use to control corn rootworm because corn rootworm traits are susceptible to resistance, especially in instances where you have year-on-year -year corn um, in your fields. So it's important to use a varied approach when you think about how to control your corn rootworm. The agronomic advantage for farmers is Syngenta provides both a broad portfolio of traits on the seed side and also a wide array of crop protection products. Force Evo and Force 6.5G both offer the same consistent performance uh, against corn rootworm and Force Brands continue to be the market standard for control. For Thrive TV, I'm Adam Baxt. For more information on controlling corn rootworm, head to SyngentaThrive.com.